Good afternoon. It's no mystery that most people who visit Lausanne try to capture the beauty of the lake and the majesty of the Alps by their camera. But unless they're very lucky and it's a clear sunny day, which as you know is almost a miracle in Lausanne, they fail to do so. They're going to end up by a photo like this, when you can barely see the Alps, all the details are lost. Why does this happen? It happens because there are small particles in the atmosphere that spread the light all over the place. As a result, your camera does not receive a sharp, strong reflection from the scene. OK, how can we solve this problem? We show that it's possible to solve this problem if we use the invisible part of the sunlight, which is called the near-infrared light. Those particles I just told you about, they can only affect the visible light. They are too weak to have any impact on the near-infrared light. So if we take a photo of the exact same scene, now under the near-infrared light, you can see we have many more sharp details in these regions. Now all we have to do is to add these additional details to our first picture, and get this perfectly sharp and gorgeous picture of the Alps. OK, it seems that the problem is completely solved. And life is good again. But wait a second. None of the cameras on today's market can capture both of these photos for you. And that's exactly what I'm working on. I'm designing a camera that captures both visible and invisible light. And the challenge is, we want this camera to capture more information compared to today's cameras, but still be as small and affordable as today's camera. And today, I'm very happy to tell you that by developing new software and hardware components, I'm very close to this goal, to have a camera that captures much more information compared to today's cameras. And once we have this additional information, the possibilities are endless. Here I just show you one example of what we can do. We can use it to increase the quality of low light photography, to increase the quality of portrait photos, and the list goes on. And I promise you, the quality we can obtain, having this information cannot be reached by any photo editing software such as Photoshop that uses only this image. I leave you with this thought. In the year 2014 alone, 1.8 billion digital cameras will sold. Our camera would be the next revolution on this enormous market. Thank you very much.